So, here we are on the trail again. One of my uh, friends sent me an email reminding me of uh, how unphotogenic I am and suggested I go back to holding the wand and getting as far away from my mug as possible when I'm taking these videos. So you may see a little bit more shake today. I'm pretty excited about this hike. Um, I'm actually going to be taking a hike that is brand new. It just opened last week. And um, I don't know the length of this hike. I apologize that the sun starts to bleach out. I don't know the uh, length of this hike, but the, I've structured it in such a way that uh, I used one of my old hikes as a uh, lead to the trailhead, and that'll take me about 10 miles, that the new section of the hike will be about five miles. So I'm thinking that today's hike may turn out to be about a 15 mile hike. The hike I took last week turned out to be about 17 and a half. Um, so I'm doing some good conditioning. Normally I would have done a hike on Monday, but instead I uh, hiked uh, or I climbed and descended 50 flights of stairs carrying 44 pounds of weights in total, 22 pounds per hand. So um, that was going to be my workout. So this is actually the first hike I've taken in about a week. But I'm really uh, interested in seeing how, whoops, somebody's going to drive by me here, seeing how, um, how this new trail has been cut. It um, took them almost a year to make this trail. And um, this is going through countryside that uh, previously has been, you know, basically untouched. So um, it'll be interesting to see what kind of route they, that they've designed. Well, the problem here is that, I guess you guys can tell, the problem here is that when I get into the sun, it's right on the back of my head. And, okay, maybe this will be a little bit better for you. It's, um, it's going through this area that has been previously untouched. So it'll be really interesting to see um, what kind of vistas I get off of this hike and um, how, uh, how they've designed the terrain. So, I'm going to close this particular part of the, of the video, and then uh, once we get up to uh, once we get up to the trailhead, I'll start recording again. And so here is the beginning of the new hiking trail. There is a uh, trail close sign behind me, but I know that you can enter this from the other terminus, and this was supposed to officially open last week. So I'm wondering if they just forgot to take the sign down. Anyway, I'm really excited about taking this hike and we'll see where it leads. So, a couple of interesting developments. It turns out I just ran into a fella who is uh, constructing this trail. And he told me that the trail actually is not open yet. It's not open until uh, next Friday. But he said that uh, there really wasn't any other work being done besides the site that he was currently on. And um, there were only two people working on the trail at that point. So he just told me to go ahead, have a good time. The other thing that I learned, this is going to be a little bit of a problem. I think I'll just finish it this way. The other thing that I learned is that this trail is actually 11 miles long. I thought it might be five. So by the end of the trail, I'm probably going to wind up doing about 19 or 20 miles, uh, which is a little bit further than I had hoped for. But uh, it's a beautiful trail, so let's see how uh, let's see how this whole thing develops. So this will give you an idea of what today's hike is going to be like. If you can see that mountain dead center in your picture, and then follow the ridge to the left which is uh, basically northbound. And then look at that mountain on the horizon. We would go down from the intersection of what looks like the intersection of those two mountains. From that point, we would go down that canyon four and a half miles to where I left the car. 
then from where I'm standing now, by the way, this new trail is cutting through uh, prime cougar habitat and also be prime elk and deer habitat in the, uh, in the winter. But then what we're going to need to do is continue in this direction, cross that hillside on the horizon, and then I think about four miles on the other side of that hillside will be the terminus of this hike. Been a beautiful hike today. Just give you one more quick view. I don't think there's much chance I'm going to see a cougar because it's about uh, 1.15 in the afternoon. They tend to be nocturnal. nocturnal. But isn't this a beautiful area? So, as near as I can tell, I think I'm only about a mile from the end of the hike. Um, I've been on the trail now for about eight hours straight. Uh, and I'm surprised because I just sort of came around to turn and um, recognized where I was. And it actually came on me probably about two miles earlier than I expected. So that's a good thing because I'm getting a little bit tired. My hope at the end of this hike is that I will have done 20 miles. I mean, that's kind of the numbers that they gave me. Um, and, and I'm, what I'm surprised about is that I actually expected this 11 mile section of the hike to take me almost an hour longer than it did. So I'm beginning to suspect, to suspect whether or not it actually is going to turn out to be 11 miles. But I won't be able to tell until I, uh, until I get off the trail. One of the things I would say about this trail, and you can see this as you look around me, one of the things I can tell you about this trail is that there's very little shade on this trail. Now for me, or at least there's very little shade here at the end of June. Now, that actually works in my favor because on the Rim to Rim Trail, you really, in September, you really don't start seeing any shade until uh, around four o'clock in the afternoon as the sun is starting to set in the west. So this is, uh, this is good, it acclimates me well. Um, today is supposed to be a warm day. I don't know what the temperature is. I didn't wear my watch that has a uh, thermometer built into it. But uh, I know the projections were somewhere in the mid 90s. And uh, it's been a very dry, a very dry hike. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's been a good hike. And my legs are holding up pretty well. My stamina is holding up pretty well. So, but, but honestly, I'll be glad when hike is over. So I guess I'm gonna, unless I see something that's really dramatic, I'm gonna wrap the, the video up here. Thank you all very much for coming on this hike with me again. And um, I'll see you on the trail. I wanted to do a quick epilogue on the hike yesterday. As I approached the terminus of the hike, I began to have some real suspicions about the length of the hike that I was told. As you know, I was told that uh, the spur I was on was about 11 miles, but when I got to the terminus of the hike, I actually got there about two, uh, about an hour sooner than I expected. And most of you all know when you've been hiking for a while, you can predict how long it's going to take you to do a mile or two miles or five miles. And when I got there an hour sooner, I just knew that the distances were off. And as it turned out, that uh, spur trail was not 11 miles, it was about nine miles. So my hike turned out to be 18.4 miles, not 20 as I had hoped. But still 18.4 miles, 18 miles was a good training hike uh, for the Grand Canyon. And I have 10 more weeks before I'm going to be on the south rim, making the south to north route. So I have plenty of time to continue to build my stamina and build my, uh, the strength of my legs. Uh, I will say that I did finish the hike yesterday with no blisters and no danger of losing any of my toenails. So all in all, for the end of June, it was a very good hike. I will probably target about a 22 mile hike sometime around the third week of July. 
but I'm pretty pleased with where I am at this point. I am having some problems with stamina, and uh, I'm not sure what that's about, but I have a suspicion, which will be the uh, body of my next video, I believe. In any event, I hope you enjoyed hiking with me through the mountains of Utah. Uh, if you liked this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing, and I will see you on the trail.